The Youth Guild is an organization of 106 active members right now, and we support the youth of Dunedin. So generally, it's almost anything that you can imagine that directly impacts children and youth. We give scholarships to seniors who either live in or go to school or both in Dunedin. Last year, we gave $34,000. This is our 45th tour of homes. We have six homes in the church, the Church of the Good Shepherd, that will be toured throughout the day. And then we have a boutique and tea at Our Lady of Lords in the um, school cafeteria. So anytime during the day, the people who are going on the tour to tour the homes can come and have tea and cookies or coffee and shop at the boutique. The people who are putting their homes on tour have decorated them beautifully. And many of the homes like this have special interests. Besides the decorations, they have special architecture uh, points of interest that everybody would enjoy seeing. This is the home of Vince and Susie Gizzy. Susie is the past president of the Dunedin Youth Guild. She was president last year. And so she was gracious enough to get her decorations all up early. And um, it's beautifully decorated and every, every room has touch of decorations in it. There is a cost. Tickets are $25 in advance and $30 at the door. They can be bought at the Hale Center, Art Center, the Community Center, and um, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, or from a Youth Guild member. They can call and find out where to pick one up from a Youth Guild member. Tour starts at 10 o'clock. The homes are open, and they stay open until 4. The boutique and tea start uh, that building is open about 9, and if they want to shop first before they go on the tour. Dunedin Youth Guild has a Facebook page and a website. It's DunedinYouthGuild.org, and Facebook is just Dunedin Youth Guild. Okay, the tour booklet is the ticket, and it describes each home in detail and the highlights of each home. Saturday, December 3rd, it's the first Saturday in December. Um, if they don't buy a ticket in advance, they're available at Lady of Lords Church on the day of the tour. And there's a tea and boutique along with the tour of six homes and the Church of the Good Shepherd.